Oh, there's a fish. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Oh, that was awesome. There's a fish. Nice one, I think. Whoa. Oh my god, he ate my spin. Oh my god, giant bass. Giant bass. What the heck? You have got to be kidding me. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another MBK Outdoors video. Uh, today we're on the Turtle Flambeau Flowage in northern Wisconsin, and we're hopefully going to be catching a lot of smallmouth bass. I think what we're going to be using today is a mix of uh, crayfish pattern and crankbaits, possibly, if stuff is up shallow, maybe some maps, maybe some swim bait. I guess we're going to see how the day goes. Stay tuned, and hopefully we're going to catch some fish. Dad's hooked up on the first smallmouth yeah, or nice smallmouth or yeah, pike. Small hooked up on his first smallmouth. Oh, that is a, that's a damn. It's a large mouth. Really? Yeah. No, it's not. It's a smallmouth. Oh, small. Never mind. That's a good one. First fish out here today on a crayfish. Fishing the turtle flambo. Hi. You got him, or you want me to net him for you? Pull them up. That's a beauty. Nice fish. Some nice boulders in here. Got this fat, chunky guy. Nice, beautiful. On the tape. Almost 17. Yeah, 17. On the tape at 17. Solid That's fish. Good. Here we go on that first one. We're just we're on a little point here, rock and wood goes off into a little bit deeper water, and it's only about three or four feet up there. Caught it. I was only about ten casts in. Let's get some more. Fish right by the boat. There's my first football of the day. Not quite 17 inches, but he's fat. Nice chunky one. Same thing, still on the rocks. So you got some nice spotty boulders, rocks mixed in. Little kind of bit of an isolated spot. That's what they've all been sitting in. Yeah, it's a tiny, tiny bass. Oh, is it a rock bass? Rock bass! Multi-species. First one of these little dudes of the trip. Pretty little guy, ate a number three size mips. He's hungry. Yeah. Oh, there's my favorite. Really multi-species. Oh, they're all spot filled. First one of these guys for the day. I'm sure they'll be a familiar sight on this trip, all filled with black spot. See you, buddy. There's one bass. Finally. We've been struggling along here for quite a while. Finally got another one in the boat. He just threw up a wacky rigged Senko. Or a, like a Senko. Again, super fat. Caught him on the little fire tiger maps. It's great if you're fishing up shallow, like with the rocks, you can run it right over the top. And orangish enough, I don't know, it might represent a crayfish or something, but they seem to normally be interested in it when it's a nice dark stained lake. And I don't know, for whatever reason that little red crank bait it always looks good but I never actually like catch anything on it. Yeah. I don't know if it doesn't run true or something. What the deal? Oh, oh look at that! Oh that was awesome! Oh I probably missed it on the camera. I had a pike. I was bringing my uh I just tied on a new little square bill on here. <laughs> this pike came up 
at the surface, my bait was just standing still and he came up and nailed it. It's only a little pipe, but that's still cool. Oh, he's gone. Man, I wish I would have had that on the camera. That was awesome. Yeah. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah, that's a nice bass, actually. Yeah. There's a nice rock flat in. There's a lot of rocks out in here. Yeah, I'll take a net on this one. Beautiful bass. My first one, nice one so far. Where'd he go? So, nice job, Dad. Thank you. That is a chunker. There's my first nice bass of the day. That's a nice three, three and a half pounder. Again on the maps, we're fishing a little island to our side. All rocks, nice little rock channel out in the middle. Keen out, pounded it. Football, I love it. All right, a little midday update. We had kind of a slow morning. We had a little bit of a cold front overnight. It seemed like we had trouble kind of finding the bass. They weren't really up shallow where we were kind of expecting them to be. Uh, it's afternoon now. We're back out on the water and hopefully we're going to go back on some bass. We're going to be trying the same thing as this morning and hopefully the water temps got back up here about 3 degrees since this morning. And we're going to be trying to pound the rock shorelines and try to find some smallmouth. We're using a little Fire Tiger Meps. It's a nice easy bait to keep um, pretty close to the top of the water if you're only fishing a couple feet. Runs right over the top and doesn't get snagged very often. Yeah, there's a fish right there, and that's a bass. Just a little bit of rock he was on. Nice. A little slow this morning, but it didn't take us long to get one in the afternoon here. He's a little big for a boat flip, but uh, all right, there's my first bass of the afternoon. Pretty old chunky guy. Again, ain't the fire tiger maps that I was just talking about. There's a fish. Nice one, I think. Definitely a bass. Yeah, could you get the net for me, Dad? Yeah, actually, thank you. you got the zoom lens on it. Oh, shoot. Is that not good? Yep, switch lenses quick if you can. All right, well, I'm fighting a good one, Dad's trying to get the camera out. Oh, we, we can just net this guy and just get the camera afterwards. This is a nice fish. <laughs> the struggles of trying to film your catches. Decide between a net job, good camera work. Well, that's a beauty. Nice. Thank you, Dad. And he's off. Cool. All right, that's a beauty. That's my first real nice bass of the day. We'll get them on the tape here in a second. And we're only seemingly finding them wherever we find the rocks. That's where they're hanging out. Water temp's about water temp's about 65 right now, and that's a beautiful 17 incher. We're gonna get them back. Boom. Nice fish. Like Blake just said, I was fishing along with a swim jig, not catching nothing. I tied this iridescent <laughs> maps on, and boom, first cast, I get one. So, yeah, that's a giant. Didn't take long. I don't know, for whatever reason, man, you just can't beat the maps. It baffles me, but seems to work. I don't get it. I don't know why I can't catch stuff on this stupid crankbait. It looks good. The spinner. I should just keep using it, I guess. Can't you see? Can't you see? 
Whoa. Oh, oh my god, he ate my spin. Oh my god, giant pass. Giant pass. What the heck? You have got to be kidding me. Am I recording right now? Touching the water. It must have just barely been vibrating. Oh, he's off. My god, that was crazy. I look below me and there's a splash. I threw a crankbait on. My spinner had just got to be doing this, just barely flitting in the water. I look down below me, there's a splash and it's a giant bass. Giant, like, nice, probably 17 inch bass. <laughs> that, that was crazy. I was not expecting that. Yeah, off the surface. That's that's just ridiculous. The thing, yeah, the thing was practically floating. I, I did. I thought he was following my bait, and I thought he maybe kicked off. But <laughs> look, my rods doubled over. That's hilarious. back up if we can yeah there's some beautiful you might want to cast right out in front of us to the right i was gonna say i should be getting picked up there's some beautiful rocks in here there he is feisty guy throwing up crayfish as he comes in well in the meantime since or since you saw my last fish. I in vain tried to throw around a little crankbait. Just a couple minutes after I come back to the maps, it's a fish. I don't know why it works so well up here, but they seem to love it. So I guess I'll keep throwing it. Why? That was a fish, I think. Yeah, there he is. Nice. Called it. Said right on this point there's probably gonna be one. Again, big chunky boulders, fish on each section, love it. All right, quick change of scenery, I'm back at home. Unfortunately, we had to cut our trip up north short. Uh, we got one more video out of it, waiting the Flambeau River, a different section farther west, which I'm excited to make, but I was hoping to get a lot more and do a lot more fishing, but fortunately, we had to cut it short. Had a great day, this video that you watched today, we didn't really catch much after that. We went out the next day, caught a few smallmouth. I even caught a little burbot, which I'll show the footage of that right here. This little guy, he's just a little baby. He came on actually quite a big jig and a minnow. Yeah, even though he wasn't very big, I was excited to catch him. Um, we did a little walleye fishing after that, not too much avail. And then we unfortunately had to head home early. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for that next Flambeau River video. Waiting for smallmouth. That was a pretty awesome experience. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next video. Have a good one.